We're gonna take our meatloaf and we're gonna mix it all together. And really the easiest way to do this is with your hands. So that's why we're mixing it this way. Hi and welcome to the Cast King Kitchen. My name is Sandy Roberts and today we're gonna make the Mega Jaws Meatloaf. And you're gonna really like it, it's really good. It's not gonna take much time to do. You're gonna put all the ingredients together and we're gonna bake it and we'll get to try it. So we're gonna put in some ground beef and we're gonna put in some breadcrumbs. I like the Italian seasoned ones. You're gonna put those in there. We've got some chopped onions, one, basically. We've got a chopped bell pepper. Got, well, it's about half of the bell pepper. It was a big one, though. Um, some of our bassinator barbecue rub, which we've already showed you on one of our other episodes. We're gonna put some of that in. We're gonna put Worcestershire sauce. We're gonna put in some melted butter an egg, and a cup of evaporated milk. You can put in regular milk if you like, but I like the evaporated milk. Now here's where it might get a little bit messy. We're gonna take our meatloaf and we're gonna mix it all together. And really the easiest way to do this is with your hands, so that's why we're mixing it this way. Just gonna mix it up and make sure you get all the breadcrumbs and everything else mixed in. This meatloaf, because you've added, I use fairly lean ground beef, but since you've added butter and you've added milk, it is gonna be quite moist. The egg is gonna kind of grab everything and hold it all together. But I think you're gonna really like this when it's all done. And once again, you saw what I did. It took me more time to assemble the ingredients, which you didn't see me do that, than it does to mix it all together and make it. So, you know, one thing you can do with something like this, mix up your ingredients the night before, cover everything in the refrigerator with saran wrap. The dry ingredients, of course, you wouldn't have to cover with saran wrap, but then you're ready to go. This meatloaf, once you put it in the pan, is gonna take you about an hour in your regular oven to cook. So, let, we're gonna take it, we're gonna form it into a loaf, right here in our pan. I'll let you see that in just a second. Our meatloaf. I'm gonna make it all into a loaf. I've got it in a pan. I put some spray nonstick on it just so that it won't stick to the pan. We've got it all getting all nicely formed up into its little loaf. Okay. Just like that. Then what I do is I take ketchup. My hands are dirty now, but I take ketchup and I just brush it all over the meatloaf like that. And it just kind of seals everything in. I like ketchup too anyway. Um, when it's cooked, usually I'll serve it with a brown gravy, mashed potatoes, green beans, um, but I also still, even with the gravy on it, I still like a little ketchup on the meatloaf and to kind of dunk it in while I'm eating it. So that's about it. Next thing we're gonna do, we're just gonna put it in the oven and we're gonna bake it 350 degrees for about an hour. Our Mega Jaw Meatloaf has come out of the oven. We've let it cool just a little bit. And guess what? The 
only thing left to do now is to taste it. I think it's gonna be absolutely delicious. We'll take a little bite here and see how it is. Mmm, very good. It's really moist, really good. Came out excellent. I'm very happy with this meatloaf. Get yourself some Mega Jaws meatloaf. You're gonna like it. It's very good. It tastes excellent and it's a great one to serve. So, I'm Sandy and you have reached the Cask King Kitchen. I'll see you on the next episode.